Hi everybody! I thought today I would show you quickly how to make a round granny. Uh, now like any other granny square or patterned granny item, uh, there are various ways to do this and I'm not claiming that my way is the only way or even the best way, but it's uh, a comfortable way and I thought maybe you might like an um, sort of an alternative to the granny square in case you were you know, in the need of something that was round and not just the typical crochet in the round that I do with a lot of my other projects. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a mini tutorial slash blog because I'm not going to be doing it so that you can see what my hands are doing exactly, but I'm going to try and show you uh, what I'm doing in front of my face. Um, so let's start. Round grannies. We're going to start with a slip knot and you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So once you've got your chain of six, you're going to join it. So you're going to put your hook through the first chain you made and join it with a slip stitch to create a circle. And this is a circle that you should be able to um, fit your finger through. And I'm using a chunky yarn and a, a, a five and a half uh, millimeter hook today, but obviously this is one of those patterns that you can do with any sized yarn, any sized hook. Just make sure that for comfort reasons, you use the right hook for the right yarn. Uh, and that means whatever's comfortable for you. So after you've got your little circle, uh, we're going to chain three, because we're going to be using the double crochet stitch. So the chain three counts as a double crochet. We're going to double crochet into this circle. So you wrap your yarn around your hook, put your hook through the circle, grab your yarn, pull it back up so that you've got three loops on your hook, wrap your yarn around your hook, pull it through the first two loops, wrap and pull it through the second two loops. That's a double crochet. And if you've done the granny square, you know what I'm talking about. This is going to be the foundation um, concept. I'm not going to use the word shell because in my mind, a shell is at least three stitches uh, or more. So this is just going to be what I call a segment. Uh, two double crochet. You're going to chain one in between each segment and each segment is going to be two double crochets and you're going to make sure there are six segments all the way around your circle. So you're going to double crochet twice and then you're going to chain one, double crochet twice, chain one, and you're going to repeat this all the way around for row one. So row one should be a combination of six segments separated by individual chains. So you've got one segment, chain one, a second segment, chain one, a third segment, chain one, and so on. You end that row with a chain one and you slip stitch into the top of your chain three that you use to start the row. And remember that the chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. And that is your first row of your round granny. We're going to slip stitch across the top of the double crochet directly next to that chain three. And we're going to slip stitch into that first space, that space that was created by all the chain ones in between the segments from the previous row. So you just want to end up so that you're working into the next available space because as you know from the granny square, most of your shells or stitch work is worked into spaces, not stitches. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and into this space, you're going to make a segment, a chain one, and a segment. So that's chain three, counts as a double crochet, double crochet into that space, chain one, and double crochet twice more to make another segment into that same space. Now we're working in the round, not squares. So remember from the crochet granny square, you always put two chains in between shells to make a corner. Well, in a circle, you don't want corners. So we're not gonna do two chains versus one chain or one chain versus no chains. It's just one chain to separate segments all the way around and that will create a circle. So 
you've created a segment, chain one, and another segment. That's into the first hole or the first space. You're going to chain one because every segment will be separated by a chain one. And you're going to repeat into the next space, segment, chain one, segment. So that's two double crochets, a single chain, and two more double crochets, all into that same space. And once you're done with that, you're going to chain one, identify your next space, and put segment, chain one, segment into that space. So that's two double crochets, chain one, and another two double crochet into that space. You're going to chain one, because every segment will be separated by a chain one, at least in this round, and you're going to repeat that all the way around for row two. Once you get to the end of row two, you're going to end with a chain one, you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you created to begin that row, and that is what's going to finish off row two. Now row three is going to be a little different. In fact, from here on out, things are a little bit different. And like I said, this isn't the only way to make a round granny. But this is the way that I found is most comfortable. You're going to slip stitch into that next space. So get there however you have to. Just I find easiest to always work out of a space, the next space all the way around. You're going to chain three because you want to begin your row with a chain three because we're using the double crochet stitch. And into this row, we're going to double crochet three times. So we're going to make what I consider is a traditional shell. So three double crochets. We're going to chain two, one, two. That becomes our new segment spacer. We're going to double crochet three times into the next space. One, two, three. We're going to chain twice, and we're going to double crochet three times into the next space. So for row three, you're going to double crochet three times into every space, and between each set of three double crochets, you're going to chain two. And the reason that you're chaining two and not one is because our ever-increasing circle is getting bigger. And with an ever-increasing bigger circle, you may need to increase the number of stitches you use. Because this isn't a solid piece of fabric, because we're making a piece of fabric that has spaces in it, gives you that overall lacy effect, you need to increase the sizes of your shells as you go out. And when you increase the size of your shells, the size of your shells needs a slightly larger gap in order to be worked into. Otherwise, it gets kind of bunched up. So for row three, every space gets three double crochet, and between each set of three double crochet, you're going to chain two. You're going to end row three with a chain two. You're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three that you made to create the beginning of row three, and that closes off row three, and it should look something like this. Now, row four. We're going to slip stitch into the next available space. So if you have to do that across the top of some of your double crochets, that's what you do. Slip stitch into that next available space, which will be somewhat larger than the previous rows because they are created by a two chain instead of a one chain. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And into this space, we're going to continue our shell of three double crochet. One, two, three. In fact, we're going to make it four. It's row four. So row four equals four double crochet in each space. We're still going to use a two chain separator for now. And in each space, all the way around row four, you're going to put four double crochet into each space, and you're going to separate each set of four double crochet by a chain two. 
you're going to finish row four by chaining two and then slip stitching into the top of that chain three that you created in order to start row four. And it should look something like this. That is the basic concept behind a round granny. Now, if you wanted to keep going, then my suggestion would be to match your stitch number and your chain spaces to the size of the yarn and the size of the hook that you're using. If you find that, you know, row five is good with a set of five double crochets, chain two, five double crochets, great. If you find that the space isn't big enough, then maybe you can increase it to a three chain space with five double crochets. Uh, at this point, I would avoid putting um, double segments in each space because you're going to end up sort of creating little angular bits. So you want to just keep going around and around and around in a circle. This is a pretty large size for me. I think if I went one row bigger, that's as big as I'd want for an individual circle, especially if I was making an afghan. Um, and I might try this uh, with a different yarn, maybe cotton, and see how big I can make it to make like a round placemat, because I think those might be kind of cute. But this was just sort of a fun passing idea. I wanted to try this thing that I saw on Pinterest and I thought I would share it with you guys. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful. And um, if you'd like to see more of the round granny or more of different kinds of granny um, shapes, because I saw, I saw triangular grannies too and I know how to do those and I think they might be kind of neat as well. Um, and I can do a proper tutorial on those if you guys would like, but let me know. I love your input and I love your comments and uh, I just love sitting and doing this stuff with you guys so let me know what you think thank you all very much for tuning in we will see you again shortly and um, if you have any comments or ideas or questions please don't hesitate to let me know down below because I do read them all and I do try to get back to everybody I really appreciate the interaction thanks guys we'll see you again soon bye <laughs> Thank you. Next.